Hello and welcome to Exhibit Core. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get the plugin, install it, and uh, initialize it. Um, let's start. Download the plugin from the Exhibit Core website, exhibitcore.com/mystuff, and open 3ds Max. Locate where you've stored the plugin. It's this file m.mzp and drag it into a viewport. You'll get a menu. Um, well, let's install this. Install Exhibit Core Publisher. Acknowledge. And the plugin has now been installed. Um, it tells me here that I can add the plugin to a toolbar or a keyboard shortcut, whatever. Let's add the plugin to a toolbar. Um, alternatively, we can use a menu item, a keyboard shortcut, a quad, uh, or a combination of these. Go to Customize User Interface. Customize, Customize User Interface. Go to the Toolbars tab and pick the right ca category. It's Exhibit Core Tools. There are many categories here, and make sure you pick the right one. Otherwise, you'll be lost. I'm going to make a new toolbar for this, but you can drag it to an existing toolbar. So. Tools. And drag the plugin onto the toolbar. Now it's a button. You can save this uh, layout if you want. Okay, open the plugin. There we go. And the first thing. Uh, the plugin does when you run it for the very first time is ask you for identification. Uh, to be able to upload models to the Exhibit Core Floor Planner, you need an API key and you have to enter it here. So let's do that. Go to floorplanner.exhibitcore.com slash forms slash get API and enter your credentials here. Obviously, you first need to make an account. I already have one. Enter my username and password and press Get API Key. Then we're going to use this key here. Copy it and go back to 3ds Max and paste it in. Remember, be sure to press Enter after you've pasted it in otherwise the script won't, won't remember for the next time. Okay, close the script. Now reopen it. You see that the user interface has changed, all the options are available to me and I can start publishing my models. Uh, alternatively to dragging the mzp file, the installer, into a viewport, you can also install the script by going to the menu, Mac script, run script, locate the file and install it like this. Okay, we're done. Everything is installed and we are ready to go. Happy publishing!